and welcome to Top X, where we count down the very best that YouTube has to offer. I'm your host Dan, and today we're drawing conclusions about the top 10 animated channels on YouTube. Today we're looking at those channels whose content is entirely, or at least mostly, animated. We're not distinguishing between independent animators and networks that feature a number of animators. We base this list on personal preference, votes from our users, plus subscribers and view count. Now hold on to your butts, it's about to get weird. Number 10, Harry Partridge. Harry Partridge is a channel run by an animator named Harry Partridge. Although in the past he's collaborated with Nintendo and College Humor, his home channel still receives some love in the form of his own personal work. I'm Dr. Miles Manners, just your average wasp-themed superhero by day, but by night I become Dr. Bees, masked vigilante with a load of bees dedicated to saving mankind. Some of you might have already seen his most popular video, which is a response to the first teaser released for Skyrim. Now, this actually holds a pretty special place in my heart, because when that teaser was released, this was me. He really nailed it. Holy shit, what is this? Forged in God's very flames. Do mine eyes tell me lies? A new Elder Scrolls game. But it doesn't really stop there. A lot of his most recent videos, albeit in the last year or two, are based on video games. So if that's your bag, there's a lot of hilarious content to check out here. Beyond the frozen tundra lies the homeland of the Nords, where radiant stories bloom and you can do wield magic and sword. One thing you should notice is that Harry often incorporates an original song with lyrics into his videos, which makes them all the more impressive from a writing standpoint. Since I was a child, I've known in my heart The moving of pictures was my kind of art But I had no film crew nor actors for parts So tried animation and then could finally start Although he doesn't upload all that often, he does have at least two ongoing series, or at least recurring characters. Being Starbarians and Dr. Bees, both of which are pretty darn weird, but hey, this is the animation countdown after all. A large influx of bees ought to put a stop to that! Oh, f***ing lord! Number 9, Domix. Domix is an animation channel run by a young Canadian man who also goes by the name of Domix. And his channel is technically an offshoot of a Tumblr page he used to run, which had comic strips on it. Uh, hey yo, I'm Domix, and I don't know what to say, I mean, why, why do I even have to... Domix describes his channel as a sort of draw my life kind of experiment, and that's really what it is. A lot of his animations are used to illustrate certain aspects of his life, both past and present. Of course, others are just concerned with stuff like butts, but I guess that's part of life too, right? The best thing about butts is that it can be sexualized, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be a butt. Like a lot of animation channels, the animation itself and the voice work are both pretty simple, but they mesh together to deliver pretty good punchlines. Now, a lot of other channels will do this, but Domix is a perfect example. Hey Dom, just wondering if you're free this week to set up a conference meeting with everyone. Thanks. You can do this. Hey! Ah, uh, whoops. Hello, Christine. Number 8. Film Cow. At some point in your high school career, chances are someone shared with you a Charlie the Unicorn video, and you either thought it was the funniest thing you'd ever seen, or you sat there blinking and confessed that you didn't get it. Either way, Charlie the Unicorn now calls the Film Cow channel his home. Oh, now Charlie, please will you go into that cave? Alright, fine, I'll go into the freaking candy cave. This had better be good. Yeah. Although Charlie has since retired, Film Cow and its creator, Jason Steele, have kept busy with a number of other equally irreverent series. Series like Ghost House and Llamas with Hats. What happened to his hands? What's that? His hands. Why, why are they missing? Well, I, uh, I kind of uh, cooked them up and ate them. Animation is very time consuming, so it's especially noteworthy that Film Cow updates every other Saturday. While this might not seem like a huge amount, in the spectrum of other animation channels and how long it takes them to produce new content, this is remarkably consistent. We did it! We got the amulet! Great! Now go away! I'm tired of the horrible things that happen when you're around. No, Charlie! Yeah. Number 7. Simon's Cat While other channels seem to tackle every other topic under the sun, Simon's channel is very focused. Basically an ode to cat owners everywhere, series creator Simon Tofield uses his four real-life cats for the inspiration he needs to illustrate the foibles of feline ownership. Hmm. 
No. Ugh. What makes these videos so popular, aside from the obvious cute factor, is the uncanny way in which he's able to animate the cat in question. Anyone who's ever owned or even just known a cat for a long time will instantly recognize the little mannerisms and behaviors these furry companions exude and have been perfectly recreated for the videos. It's all super cute, but the real appeal lies in how truthful it is. Number six, Tomska. Up next is probably the only channel we'll see today that actually features a fair amount of live action content. But since Tomska features two different styles of animation on his channel, we figure he still counts. The first style of animation he has is his ASDF series. Ultra simplistic and super random, those of you that are familiar with rejected cartoons and cyanide and happiness should have a pretty good idea of what it's like. Doctor, I think I might be a homosexual. How can you tell? Rainbows. The second style of animation he does on his channel is a little bit higher in production value, but equally as random. Now, it's actually a bit of an oversimplification to lump all of these together, since he clearly works with a number of different animators to bring all of these skits to life. Hey, everyone! More booze! That said, if you're into his other work, all of Tomska's cartoons follow the same vein of humor and are definitely worth a look. Number five, Oni NG. At number five, the cartoons we're looking at start to make a bit more sense. Just kidding, it only gets weirder from here. Well, you're not doing a very good job. I know, it's just I... I can't quite seem to hit the low key. <laughs> Most of the videos you'll see on this channel are ultra short. Rather than focus on something clever or try to deliver a series of jokes, these shorts are generally focused around a single punchline or joke. They're super random, but their quick, punchy nature makes it easy to binge on a whole bunch without getting sick of a specific idea. We unfortunately can't place Oni any higher on this list because he doesn't post that consistently, but that's not to say his channel isn't full of great stuff to check out already. Number four, Mondo Media. By now you've probably noticed that while a lot of these channels have a lot of great content, they don't update that frequently. Well, here to address that problem is our next pick, Mondo Media. Catchphrase. <laughs> the self-proclaimed largest animation channel on YouTube, Mondo Media doesn't just feature the work of one or two animators, but several different animators. This not only allows them to feature a number of different shows and styles, but also means they update much more frequently than some of their smaller peers. Mm, it's been so long. Shay, mm, 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 mm. what the hell are you doing to the cooking gas? Do you want cold pizza pockets? You can't have my socks! Mondo is sort of like the Adult Swim or Teletoon of the internet. Chances are you'll like one or two of their shows, but not necessarily every single one. Although they have over a dozen different series, the ones that seem to be the most popular are Dick Figures and the deceptively violent Happy Tree Friends. Did I mention this channel is not suitable for kids? Number three, Ego Raptor. After seeing several channels that have no central theme or focus, it's nice to land on one that's a bit more centralized in its subject matter. But that's not to say it doesn't get any less weird. That should do it. God, that took me what, like an hour? Don't try D. Oh. Damn it. Primarily focusing on video games and nerd culture, Ego Raptor's most popular series is his awesome series, where he parodies various video games and answers the age old question. What would happen if everyone in this game were swearing all the time? <laughs> Aside from the awesome series, Ego Raptor also features some pretty amazing rap battles, which are even more technical than some of the epic rap battles of history we saw a few weeks back. Dick Penis Man, can you lose to me in a rap battle? Sure you can! 
Funnily enough, one of the most popular videos on this channel is one that he did in collaboration with OniNG. Man, Pikachu's an asshole. Why didn't you evolve me, you asshole? Because I love you, Pikachu! I Do you want like me to lose? Is that what you want? Number two, Explosive Entertainment. So, remember how I said one of our earlier entries cartoons were sort of like cyanide and happiness? Well, that was kind of a silly analogy to use because this next entry is cyanide and happiness. Look, Mom, an alien! Really, don't say that! Shit, they know! Hit it! For those of you who are terribly confused by all this, Cyanide and Happiness began life as a webcomic before making the transition to full motion video. Anyone who's been a fan of the irreverent comic series should be delighted with this channel, as the art style and humor have survived the transition nicely. He was an ordinary man who had a terrible accident, but modern medicine was able to rebuild him. Modern medicine? That's now! If this is your thing, there's technically two ways to consume the content on this channel. There's the Cyanide and Happiness Shorts, which are self-contained shorts that are about a minute long. Then there's the Cyanide and Happiness Show, which are technically also shorts, but they transition into each other to form longer episodes of about 12 minutes. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, how it should have ended. Rarely is there a channel that's so perfectly encapsulated by its own title, but I guess that's sort of the appeal of our number one pick, how it should have ended. No, Fromodo! Although this channel has now blossomed into a very different beast with a number of different shows and comedy shorts, how it should have ended started with a very simple concept. Being, of course, cartoons that show how a movie should have ended. Somewhat similar to CinemaSins' Everything Wrong With videos, these usually contain rather clever observations about plot holes and inconsistencies in blockbuster movies, often of the superhero variety. A Phantom Drive! It's a trap! Actually, if you want to get really specific, they've broken their videos down into a number of playlists by genre. So if you want to focus on only the superhero stuff or only the video game stuff, they've got you covered. Last but not least, How It Should Have Ended is a very consistent publisher, something that's helped them secure this top spot. The best YouTube channels are the ones that you can keep coming back to for new content. And in that sense, there's no end in sight for How It Should Have Ended. Hit me! That's it for our list, we hope you enjoyed yourself. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, both for upcoming lists on our Suggest page, and for more great top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.